Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener off here. I'm going to be playing in the Workshop Power and Glory event. This one's kind of cool. So the idea here is basically that you get uh, five decks, one for each Planeswalker, that's in M21, and you just make them work. <laughs> that's about it. Uh, so let me <clears throat> read this off real quick. These decks were crafted around either a legendary creature or Planeswalker, Planeswalkers, who will serve as your commander. Don't worry, like any good commander, they're resilient. If your first choice doesn't work for you, you can always change your selection. You can cause all the trouble you want with these until the dust settles and the event comes to a close. Spoiler alert, we're going to be playing all of them, actually. So I'm going to give each of them a try. We're going to start with Basri, just go left to right, <laughs> alphabetical order. Basri? Basri? I actually don't know, I've not heard that name pronounced yet. Not officially pronounced. Alright, let's see. Versus the Chandra one. Okay, let's go. Don't let me forget afterwards. I uh, I sh should have shown you the deck list first. My apologies. I'll show you afterwards, though. Give him a hello. Hearty hello. Into a Healer's Hawk. Just play along our nice little curve we have here. Discard a card. Gains Indestructible. Okay. For a 3-1. That's, that's fine. White discard outlets. They exist, but they're pretty rare. Alright, so what is this? One damage to each opponent when you... Okay. Alright, boom. Then play out our 3-1. And, uh, in the turn. One other MTG Arena advantage of a card like this is that because it has a zero mana activated ability, it can hold it up. Uh, it can it gives you full control without like if you forget to hit control, like this. All right, go on to my turn. Now the way this is worded, twenty five or more life. So, so, <laughs> all right. And so what do you what do you do? Alright, cool. Let's play this now. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Alright, and uh we could attack with everything. Hmm. Um I actually want to keep well. We can try it. We can try to attack here. Yeah, I think I'll find another land. It's probably okay. Alright, let's see if they'd like to make that trade. Alright, well it didn't matter. So we're gonna gain two life here from Healer's Hawk. Gain that much life plus one. And then we will end the turn. Alright, let's see what they have. I imagine that if this didn't have the one mana uh, part of the cost, that we would be seeing something a little silly going on. I would imagine. Okay. Maybe like as part of because it only cost one mana. I could see a, uh, a combo deck running that pretty easily. That was a thing in standard actually at one point. Okay. So we play Basri here, I think. Gains indestructible until end of turn. Now she herself doesn't have lifelink. She flies. This um actually probably want to keep this guy around, don't I? Hmm. They're at twenty. Alright, so Let's put it on Healer's Hawk. Now is the time to strike. Alright. You and you. Hiya. We keep back our indestructible boy. Okay. 
Now, uh, I'm trying to think. Thermo Alchemist, I think, was the name of the card that did that back in Standard. Back in Shadows Over Innistrad. Shenanigans. Back with those shenanigans. Alright. Have some more coffee while we're waiting. Oh, this is not going to last me very long. Never, never, ever does. Uh oh. Lava? I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling I needed to put it on you instead. Okay, well, that was my bad. Alright, that's also what I get for not checking over their list. I, there had to be removal, obviously, right? Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Glorious Anthem. Hello. So we want to play the Glorious Anthem and then the Hoplite so that we get more soldiers. Okay. This might end up working out nonetheless. I mean, look at this. Oketra's love is your sheep. He, had, he sounded like a Rashid for a second from Street Fighter. I am Rashid of the Turbulent Wind. Flavorfully one of my favorite characters in the game. Alright, there we go. And then we'll end the turn. I actually, I kind of like the dude's playstyle, and I like him as a personality. He's, you know, bobbing back and forth, he's constantly moving, but I don't know. I, I play Zongief. I, I'm that kind of guy, I guess. What is this, five damage? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh, boy. Well, okay, That's that could be a lot worse. Not gonna attack or anything. Okay, I'm alright with that. Uh, what is this? Tempered Veteran. Do we do this first, just so that we have a little bit more devotion? They're actually getting pretty close, and they're all gonna be 2 twos because of Glorious Anthem, so it's probably not necessary for me to do that. I can't do both, though, and I'd like to hold up Indestructible. Although this thing only has double strike, it doesn't have trample, so now it may not matter too much. Thank you. One one counter on target creature with a plus one plus one counter. Put a plus one plus one. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that doesn't seem great. To be honest, that doesn't seem great. It might be better still to do this, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm at a high enough life total, I think I can afford to do this. Alright. We could make this indestructible. Alright. Gonna put a counter here. I trust with, even will. with double strike, it'll still kill it. And then... Hiya! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Alright. Taking it. There we go. Okay. So again, unless they can pump up the Wolverine, veterans should still be able to take this. They could also just damage the veteran, actually. Any damage should do it. equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Instant sorcery cards. Okay. Discard up two cards and draw that many cards. It's not a may. You must. Okay. Fair enough. Now one other... Ah, I should have done hoplite and then used the minus with the hoplite attack. That's okay. You do have trample, but you don't fly. Okay. You have red creatures that fly also known as dragons. Alright, just pass along. You know what's gonna- okay. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, okay, I see. I see what we're doing. Pass along to blockers. Obvious block is obvious. Alright. Alright, so we killed each other. Fair enough, I guess. They needed to keep this off of the emblem, I suppose. Um... 
Well... We're getting pretty close. I can force them down to one life. This is Trample. I can force them down to one life, but I think it's probably better for me to just wait. Just play it safely. It's okay. It'll be alright. is the time to strike. I'm actually going to keep both of those back. And then pass the turn. That seems a little odd, but remember I'm about to win next turn. Th this was a this was a janky line. I, I did not need to go that way. I absolutely did not need to go that way. So yeah, 1 2 3 4 5 6. 6 tokens. Yay. Alright. They're thinking. Taking hard. Alright. So they didn't... I guess they can respond, just deal the one. Might as well, right? How many one mana things... Actually, the red deck ought to have a bunch of one mana stuff. I don't know about a bunch, but quite a few. Two damage to any target, okay. Alright, so two at Basri. I can't stop it. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's talk instead. Alright, who's attacking? And then on each creature you control. Yeah, um It doesn't matter about what happens. Alright. When it attacks, da da da. Yep, they see. They they read it. They got there. Alright, now. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna show you all the deck lists. There we go. So yeah, cool. I didn't even attack with the creatures. Oh, that's my quest, by the way. Attack with 45 creatures. Okay, so probably didn't need to do that. Probably could just double click from there. So Basri, Basri, uh, all seed, fight as one. A 1080p and pause as your friend, by the way. If you if you need to pause, by all means. Feet of Resistance, Season Hollow Blade, Sunhome Stalwart, Swift Response, Tempered Veteran, Daxos Blessed by the Sun, uh, Shirtlet, The Rock, kind of, he has more hair, Arcane Signet, in a monocolored deck, I mean, I guess it's two mana ramp, Angel Vitality, Banishing Light, Heliod, Siege Striker, Glorious Anthem, Taranika, Taranika, a growing veteran, Linden, the Steadfast Queen, uh, Basri's Lieutenant, Conclave Tribune, yes, Twinblade Paladin, Basri's Acolyte, Elspeth, Elspeth, Reverent Hoplite, these, these token cards are messing me up, Secure the Scene, Baneslayer Angel, here we gotta get, let's try it from, eh, okay, not helping much, God Eternal Ketra, nice, Rambunctious Mutt, Victory's Envoy, uh, Harmonious Archon, and then Castle Ardenvale, Idyllic Grange, Grange, Radiant Fountain, and a bunch of planes, 22 planes. I, I didn't say Adherent of Hope, a Johnny's Pride Mate, because of course, Bosri's Solidarity, Daybreak, Charger. All right, cool. So there's that deck. Now, we're going to play the Chandra deck, and this time let's take a look first. Oh, not that many one drops. So, Blister Spit, Gremlin, Crash Through, that's what I was looking for, that's what I was worried about. Shock, Cathartic Reunion, Chandra's Magma. Chandra's Pyro Helix, Chandra's Triumph, Chandra's Pro I mean, uh, Fire Prophecy, Lava Coil, Runaway Steamkin, Scorching Dragonfire, Obligatory Arcane Signet, Bone Crusher Giant, Dreamstalker Manticore, Skewer the Critics, Slaying Fire, Soul Scar, Spell Eater Wolverine, Spell Gorger Weird, Chandra Acolyte of Flame, Phoenix of Ash, Arclight Phoenix, just as a one of Goblin Wizardry, sure, Kinetic Augur, Wait, the wizards have prowess, that's right. <laughs> Kinetic Augur, Chandra's Outrage, Carol Keep Disciples, Thorbrand, Torbrand, Thane of Redfell, Thane of Red Devotion, 
Cyclops Electromancer, Searing Barrage, Double Vision, Terror of the Peaks, Chandra's Incinerator, Fire Emancipation, jeez, Sundering Stroke, Castle Embereth, Dwarven Mine, Mountains, and Cryptic Caves. So I, I'm reading that out because I know some people actually listen to this a good bit, so... And it also helps if you're... keep you from having to pause it every four seconds, hopefully. It's the idea. Alright, let's switch it over to Chandra and get it on. Oh, Chandra. Red is admittedly my least favorite color in the game. And I'm not super, I'm not a big fan of Chandra. On a scale of Chandra to Jaya, I'm more Jaya, I suppose. Although she used to be the Chandra back in the day. She used to be, her quotes are great and <laughs> silly. See Simeon Spirit Guide here. Um, and now she's sort of like the more serious, honed, disciplined, uh, I don't know, I guess that resonates with me more. Give them the hello. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay, so this Chandra's at 5. That'll be fine. Alright, still nothing. We have Fire Prophecy, but, you know, nothing yet. Oh, now we're switched. Hi, Smooch. Uh, I'm sorry, at the beginning of combat on your turn... Uh, that... you're gonna get one really soon. <laughs> this cares about, uh, Basri? I'm sorry, put a card into your library. You may put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library if you do draw a card. First instant sorcery spell each turn. Copy that spell. Uh, there's nothing that I really would like to have down. I guess the Carol keeps disciples. Probably. Actually, this this hand is okay. I'll probably decline. Um, I I suspect that we'll get there, but. We'll, we'll put that down and then drew a... okay, drew a 5 drop. I, I can live with that, that's fine. Alright, play a not-yet-double-strike creature. Play just a 3-2, a 3-mana three 3-2. Three Little under curve, for now. Hi, Heligod. Oh yeah, I'm playing Mono Red versus the Life Gain deck. What could go wrong? Okay. Um, whale. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. You sure are. Just say hi to my fiery friends. All right. So there we go. There's that. Whew. I actually dig this pose. Probably gonna switch real quick. Give me just a sec. No hands. No hands. Alright, there we go. We got there. Twin Blade Paladin. What's your deal? Whenever you gain life, put a plus plus. Okay, as long as you're 25 or more life, it is double strike. Okay, thankfully they don't. That would be that would be bad. Uh Arclade Phoenix nine? We could use the prophecy here. And we probably ought to, because there is Heliod right there. But I'd be giving up Chandra. And I'd be exiling a card at a time when we kind of don't need to do that. Uh, so I could do double vision, and then... Ooh. No, 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 this is fine. Uh, she deals two damage to any target. Discard your hand, exile the top of your cards in library. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I don't know about this. I don't know about this, folks. This feels wrong. But with Heliod out, I don't think I can afford to let them do that. Okay, we got there. We got there. Okay, okay. That, that was... That doesn't seem like a favorable matchup. That seems pretty bad. Mono Red versus Life Gain. Did I even attack that? G yes, I did. I attacked it quite a few times, didn't I? Creatures. <laughs> they count. They totally count. Alright, so now for Garuk. Alright, so himself, 
Adventurous Impulse, I already like this deck. Flaxen Intruder, Giant Growth, I really like this deck. Pelt Collector, Stone Coil Serpent, Primal Might, Wildwood Scourge, okay, interesting. Drowsing Pteranodon, uh, Leafkin Druid, Nessian Horn Beetle, Pollen Bright Druid, Ram Through, really like this deck. Wolf Willow Haven, Bark Hide Troll, Seer Farin the, <laughs> the Hinge Hammer, shoutouts to you in EDH. Arcane Signet again, Voracious Hydra, Evolution Sage, Garuk's Uprising, Lanamar Visionary, Pride Malkin, that's cute, that's adorable, Truffle Snout, Garuk's Harbinger, <laughs> Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig, Lord of Green Devotion, Lord of Green Stompy, uh, Bloom Hulk, hello, Predatory Worm, uh, Sabertooth Mauler, Beast Whisperer, Voracious Typhon, and then uh, Iron Scale Hydra, as well as uh, Cogla the Titan Ape, Beanstalk Giant, yes, Tree Shaker Chimera, and Titanoth Rex. And then, of course, we have a cat. Dip, 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 dip. We have a Castle, Castle Garenbrig, Bunch of Forest, Gingerbread Cabin, and Bonders Enclave. Okay. Which, yeah, that seems. This deck looks awesome. Now, now that I've said that, watch me go up against, and this is the one I'm going to lose with. Go figure. Uh, but I, I, I feel okay. Alright, so switch. There we go. Alright. Let's play. See how we do. Ah. We can make it. Alright. So, once again, playing against the Mono White deck, Matt Yim. I didn't look up any like guides or anything to see which of these might be the best, uh, but I may be getting an indication from that. All right, so yeah, this is a uh, three drop, four drop, five drop, seven drop, but we can cycle. I think this is probably okay. This seems like the format format might be slow enough that we can make it work. Give him the hello. And then Titan Rex, I can put a trample counter on a creature I control, which I won't be able to do. Alright, whale. That's not great. And that's the only thing I can do right now. Yeah, I I called it. I messed myself up here. I maybe messed myself up. Check my phone. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Alright. Sorry about that. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Sure. All right. Giving it to you, and then come at me, bro. It's not great. I admit, it's not great. There are worse things to have to deal with, though. Let's cycle. All right. Well, we got a land. Really, really right on time, Leafkin. Right on time. Okay, Hexproof from black. Exactly the color I need. Deals combat damage to a player, Planeswalker, blah 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 blah, that's what we're playing. And then ram through. Uh, now, you don't have trample, so it's not going to be able to deal excess damage, but that's okay. We'll find a way to make it work. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Alright, giving it to... You. Okay, fair enough. My sand will protect you. Alright. Whale. Whale. Obvious land is obvious. I can go Garuk plus three plus three gains trample. Create a three three now, if I do that though, I lose Garuk if I attack. Three three beast token. Opponent controls more creatures than you, put a loyalty counter. Okay, that's not bad. Um I kind of want to just kill this thing and then get some more ramp down. So I can do ram through, deal damage to this thing, attack, player or planeswalker. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Ram through. Creature I control, creature I don't control. Alright, there we go. And then before any of this, let's try to take out their planeswalker. They're going to block, of course. They better. Alright, there we go. Fair enough. Alright, and then we'll get out some more ramp. 
Okay, I don't feel too bad about this spot. It could be much worse. If we get a land next turn, we can go Garuk and Pollenbright Druid to prol proliferate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I am proud of my comrades. That's not good. It's no bueno. Okay. We did not get a forest there. So what do you do if a creature would deal damage to it? Prevent that damage and put a counter on it. Proliferate. This is fine. Civilization okay. Plus three, plus three, trample. Buckle under our might. Probably you, I think. I think that that's right. Let's see what they decide to do. Because they have to throw at least the 2-2 in front of it in order to save it. Okay, they're gonna try to preserve, really preserve its life to its uh, loyalty counters. Boom! There we go. We must adjust our tactics. Oh, that's right. Seven. That's right. So they had to do both. All right. So hmm, visionary. Okay. So if we get a land, then next turn we can go Pollen Bright and Bloom Hulk, and then we can Alt Garuk. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh jeez. I will guard your advance. It's not necessarily the end of the world. We can make it, maybe. I think so. If we can find a land that would help. That's not a land though. Okay, so I can give plus three, plus three here. I can attack either one of these. Elspeth's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, this is the one where I lose, folks. This is the one where I lose. Plus two, plus two, as long as I control a Garug. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So, this seems pretty clear to me. I need to turn off Devotion for Heliod. How do I do that? Making this thing huge. Okay. I can do Pollen Bright. I can do Primalkin. Pride Malkin, excuse me. Pride Malkin. Put a counter here. Okay. Pollen Bright, Proliferate, yeah, so we, we need just those two, good, and then you are going to swing at, you're at two, that's still enough to throw a bunch of tokens at me if I'm not careful, all right. There we go. Who else? Get a, two more. Two more. Oh, good. Okay, that gets rid of another point of devotion. Alright. You're indestructible, so that part doesn't matter. Alright. So there's still going to be one going to Basel. Okay. Let's talk. Oh, they still get to keep it. Interesting. Alright, fair enough. They still get to keep it, unfortunately. That's a shame. Yeah, we're we're not winning this one. We're not we're not winning with this. Jeez. I, I should never try that impression. Just ever. Alright, um if we get to survive with Garuk here. We can use the emblem at the beginning of your instep, search for a creature, put it on the battlefield, shove your library. 
We might be able to win if we can pop this emblem. Alright. I trust in your abilities. Alright, uh oh. Oh wait, they still don't have trample, so that's okay. Believe in yourself as I believe. Oh! Without Daxos, they would actually lose the Heliod as a creature. Because they just went down to Devotion. They're right at the edge. They're right at five. We can do this. We can do this, folks. Uh, protect... Oh, no. Wait. Why that one? Oh, big oops. Because that can't attack. It's still summoning sick. Oh, big oops. Okay, that doesn't feel great. Because um, I should have lost the group there. What I was hoping to do is next turn... Play the Bloom Hulk, proliferate so that I'd still I'd be able to pop Grook and still uh, pop him for his emblem and still keep him around. Um, I guess that was just a misclick. That doesn't feel like I won. I, I guess technically we still have the record, but that doesn't feel like I won. All right, so let's let's try this again. This is the Liliana deck. So herself, she's real good. This is the one I'm hoping is the strongest. Uh, Archfiend's Vessel, Disfigure, Falmire Knight, Knight of the Ebon Liege, Sanitarium Skeleton, Burglar Rat, Eliminate, Liliana's Triumph, Malefic Scythe, Mire Triton, Orzhov Enforcer, Grasp of Darkness, Yark's Finlurker, Finale of Eternity, Call of the Death Dweller, Hooded Blightfang, Liliana's Devotee, Liliana's Scrounger, Liliana's Standard Bearer, Liliana's ba Kitchen Sink, <laughs> Timurid Calls the Dead, uh, Vizier of the Scorpion, Murderous Rider, Blood for Bones, here we start getting the thing. Dread Presence, Kervek the Spiteful, Rankle Master of Pranks, Cauldron's Gift, Finishing Blow, Rise Again, Gruesome Menagerie, so it's Reanimator, Cavalier of Night, Gormand, let's get see our payoffs, uh, additional cost to cast a sack of creature, when it enters the battlefield each opponent sacks a creature, fair enough, Flying Trample, uh, Liliana Dreadhorde General, Massacre Worm, Void Beckoner. Ooh. Okay. And then, of course, Castle, Lock Castle Lockdown, uh, Swamp, Witch's Cottage, and that's it. Okay. I think, is is this one of those where you have to use, like, the the longer O, like, like in Loch Ness Monster, except I can't do it? Like, look, I don't know. Whatever, however that's said. <laughs> I assume. Um, but I kind of don't even know how to pronounce it correctly to even try to pronounce it correctly. If that makes sense. I'd have to hear it pronounced correctly first to even have a shot at it. Alright, so let's go for it. Liliana. Versus Max jo Why? <laughs> Why? Vasri. Okay, I did, in fact, miss a memo. Or I've gotten really lucky or unlucky. Because that is an awful lot of, <laughs> of that mono white deck. Alright, so we'll pass along. Yeah, I, I absolutely must have missed a memo. Someone thinks that's the strongest deck. Okay. And then we can do finale for zero, but let's not. Hold up full control. Make it look like we have something. As we very much do not. So finale is destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. If it's ten or more, you're right. Return all creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield. Cool. So let's keep it going. I guess I could just do shift. There we go. Hold full control. There we go. Just to make it look like I might have something going on. Maybe. Like a Lily on his triumph or something. Oh, geez. Yeah, now it's pretty clear that I am holding full control. Alright, that seems okay. Ooh. Interesting. Alright, passing on to the end. Now, this thing can't attack or block alone, and none of the creatures in the deck should have haste. So, yes, well, okay, that's getting annoying. I'll be honest, that is a little much. Draw a card, lose a life. Not yet. Um, I guess we just give it a swift end, don't we? Enters the battlefield a mass one. Zombie tokens you control have death touch. Um, not yet. Alright, 
we're going to get rid of you because you can help protect some of their other creatures later on. And you can't attack on your own anyway. Alright, so I took two. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, that's going to make it annoying when I try to take out a bigger creature later on. Alright, so four mana. Enough to cast their commander, but instead they're going to play Adherent. A Pride Mate. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, well, I guess we could go Finale for two. Destroy up to three creatures with toughness X or less, which is conveniently two. So we're going to get a three for one. One, two, three. And there we go. That's a handy little three for one, folks. It was indeed a wrath, I suppose. Baby wrath. Baby wrath sounds like the worst musical genre imaginable. All right, what's coming up next? Angel. Oh boy. Oh boy. A uh, hello. So. What can we do about Angel? Target creature gets minus X minus X, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard, uh, which is one. So that's not it. Um. Ooh. Little misplay. I should have played the Dread Presence first if that's what I was going to do. Um. See, this thing flies. Yeah, little bit of an oops. Little bit of an oops there. Whale. And was the cycle in youth? Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't want to put her out there just yet. Although, this will be okay, actually. Seize the day. Each player discards a card. Let's see. I don't know that I'm getting there this game. Sure. It'd be nice to have. We're doing things my way. All right. And then I could do that, but I'm gonna save it. All right. Yeah. Slight, slightly messed up. Just a little bit. I should have played Dread Presence. Dread Presence, and then. Oh, nope, you're dead. Lillian's dead. Oops. Yeah, I, I goofed. I goofed. Let's see, I did get rid of a Banishing Light. Yes, we will absolutely move her to my command zone. That's fine. And we can do it again. That is, that is the stupidest force of habit. That doesn't even... Jay. Jay, why are you doing that? Okay. Alright, now, this is a zombie. Zombie tokens have death touch, so this doesn't have death touch. Jay, you stop that. You stop that right now. Alright. Okay. Let's see if they attack. Oh, they are. Okay. Aha! That makes sense. Finishing blow. Which one's the more important one to get rid of? Elspeth can keep coming back, so destroying her doesn't do all that much. You can keep, actually, you both can keep coming back. That's a problem. Whichever one I destroy... And if I don't do anything, that's a pretty dead giveaway as to what's happening. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, yeah, I've, I've messed up quite a bit. Dread Presence even says you deal two damage to any target. It would be real nice right about now. Alright. 
Now I'm gonna I'm gonna burn my rope here. Um, if we swing, I can take out one of these, and then all three swing one, two, Elspeth. Ah, uh, actually gonna do this. She's going to make more. I can do this. It gave me some life. Okay. Fair enough. And Elspeth would now have to sack herself to give them some more. All right, that's fine. Oh, hi, hi, Dexus. Okay, so she's gone. Together we can exact justice. All right, now I need to find a swamp for dread presence, and then I need to. Orkestra's love is your shield. Oh boy. Oh boy. Number of cards in my graveyards, four. I can't disfigure as well. I really need to keep this guy off of six. Okay, so how do I go about doing that? I don't, right? Don't think I can. Yeah, we're, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Okay, this won't quite kill Daxos on its own. Can try to swing the team. Let's do this first. Alright. That's fair enough. Okay. Two. Resolves. Put that on the bottom. Okay. Now, I can play Liliana to kill Daxos. And then I lose Liliana again. This battle is going to end on my terms. Alright. But. Bosri's turn. If they do it now, which I think they should. Especially since they can just cast it right back. So definitely use the emblem now. Okay, or Elspeth. I guess that makes sense, because they're going to use the emblem here and then distribute it amongst more creatures. Yep, there we go. Nice. Alright. Now we're in, we're in real trouble. Oh boy. Now she's dead. Okay. Right on time. Uh, this? Now we need to actually deal, t we really need to deal two damage. So, oh, itchy nose, good grief, itchy nose. Uh, we just need to buy time, don't we? And then, this is uh, the beginning of combat on your turn. Okay, um, what can I do? Pass, I guess. Try to do this in response to Elspeth. Alright. Put it on you. do my best to support you. Okay, you did your job. Comes... Oh, no, we're not casting him yet. Alright. How do I get myself out of this? I don't, right? I don't. Yeah, I think we lose. I think we lose. 
Probably. Just maybe. Itchy nose. Itchy nose is itchy. I want to keep presents around because it can draw us a card. Oh, God. What's in our graveyard that we could use back? Good game. Yeah, they got me. They got me. I messed up pretty hard. I had two chances to draw a card with Dread Presence. I, I'll tell you what, I want to give that another go, because that, that one was bad on mine. That was bad on my part. That doesn't count. Let's, let's try that one more time. Rewind. It's rewind time. Itchy nose, oh my goodness. All right. Finally, something other than that same deck every single time. Okay. This is fine. A nice little thing going on here. Ooh, there we go. Alright, so we'll keep. They go first, that's alright. As much as it would be nice to get our Planeswalker out first, this is okay. We'll take the extra card. Alright, ramp. Hey there. Oh. Help collector. Okay. Alright. Try to hide the fact that we have a disfigure. Alright. What's this? Leaf can. Yep. Nope. Alright. Can't kill that with a disfigure anyway. There's Grasp of Darkness for minus four, minus four. Yeah, we are totally doing that keep them off their mana. Kill spell after kill spell after kill spell. Let's go. Alright. I like that card. I like it a lot. Itchy nose. Okay, so they have the, uh, Boyd. Boyd sleeve. We have anime Liliana sleeve. Alright. So there's that. I'm actually tempted just to draw a card here, instead of actually playing out a creature. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'd like to be able to cast my Planeswalker next turn. Alright, that's something to point out. Oh boy. Yep, create a food. They have a food. Hmm. Okay. What you got? Three. I can live with that. Alright. Cavalier? Alright. So now what do I have going on? I can play Knight and have the pump held up. I can play Falmire and Decree. This is a zombie, so it'd be a 2-1. Death Touch. Uh, this is interesting. I think this is better, because if I get another land, I can play Cavalier and, and kill something by dropping the Knight. Unfortunately, if I lose the Knight now, I won't be able to pay the mana for Devotee. Devotee. Okay. There's Garouk. That's what you want to see. Doesn't matter too much. Oh, Death died. Oh, okay. Unfortunately for you, they're quite hungry. All right. That's fine. Unfortunately, this Loveliana is each player. It's not asymmetrical. As much as I wish it were, it's it's not. Alright. Not yet. Almost there, but not yet. Alright. Hmm. Just you? Gonna force them to block with something? Alright. Cool. Let's 
sacrifice you. And there we go. Yes, I could have made a zombie instead. Alright, and then there goes Garuk. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Oh, they can cast it again. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Do it. Do it, I dare you. I like animals better than people. Just puts it on top. Giggity. Um, hmm, okay. We can put Gort and make that our next draw. What's in here? So we can go Liliana, discard Gourmand, and then use Witch's Cottage to put Gourmand back on top. I rather like that, so that's what I'm going to do. Address me as Queen of the Dead, please. Put you back on top. Also Giggy. There we go. Um... I don't know that I can just let Garuk go unchecked. Although I will be losing my Liliana. I think it'll be okay. It'll be alright. So they'll chump here, I think. I suspect. They'll chump here. I'll gain some life, not that it matters. Oh, the double block, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Alright. Uh, let's put some death touch out. Get some death touch action going. Vampire Knight. That was quite the manga. I know there was an anime too. I didn't watch much of it. The manga was gorgeous. Alright. Oh. Well, hello. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's going to be fun. Sack a creature. So that's part of the cost. Uh-oh. 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 Dare you stop this. Alright. We're still blocking here, but dang, dude. Alright. Rip. Bye bye. I'm a survivor. Yes, you are. Okay. Gee, I wonder where that was going to be. Wait. Sack a creature. Ah, uh, I can't cast it right now. Because I can't sack it. I can't sack a creature. Ooh. It's okay. It would have ended up with the same result. Uh, so we're just going to cast her again. This battle is going to end on my Sorry. turn. So I have six... So I can use this just to kill a creature. Minus six, minus six. That'll be okay. Uh oh. Ooh. Get out of my way already. Nice. Hey, it, it did something. Uh oh. There is stampede of war. What? But. Okay. I mean, I guess plus to plus. Never cross pads again. All right. Yeah, now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. I'm going to play it out so it'll get me a little bit closer to that. Hold up full control. Let that resolve. All right. There we go. Do I? I do, okay. Harbinger. 
Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, yeah, we're done. We're done. <sighs> that card is... That's really, really strong. That giant card really messed me up. That was good. As an infect player, that was good. Alright. How many is this? Still six. I mean, I guess I should do it, but we're, we're not looking great. Seize the day, my Alright. <laughs> now it's just hexproof, not protection. Hexproof from black. So I can still block it. As you do. Oh boy, taking seven here. Please, I could use a creature. Alright, there we go. Ten mana Liliana, let's go. Fine, I can see I'm not wanted. <laughs> uh oh. What is that? Oh, yay. Yay, 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 yay. Yeah. All right, well, there's Finn Lurker, and we have the mana to do both, so make them exile a non-existent card from their hand, and then, is there anything in my yard? S uh, still no, because Cavalier wouldn't kill anything. So play this, sack a creature, submit one, and then make them sack a creature. Hopefully we can turn a corner here, but I s strongly doubt it. Uh-oh. Garouk plus... Oh, jeez. We are so dead. We are so dead. Yeah. Yeah, and I can't not block this, unfortunately. Now, what's your flying trample? No death touch. Much as I wish, no death touch. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. If I get another creature, I can play it, blood for bones, get rid of another one, and then we might be in... Eh, we're still not great. Oh, good. Nope, nope. Now we're done. Now we're done. Ooh, okay. We're still dead. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. Yeah. Now all they have to do is just not have a heart attack, and they win. Not have a stroke, and they win. Alright. Yep, there we go. So they got there. Why not? Let, I'll let you get your quest done. Alright. Hey. What? Okay, about to say, that better register. Alright, now that one was legit. I legitimately lost that one. I mean, I lost, I legitimately lost both, but game one was just silly, silly misplays everywhere. Alright, so then for our last one, we have Teferi, Master of Time. Alright, Opt, Disdainful Stroke, Essence Scatter, Fairy Vandal, hey, Flash Deck, Glimpse of Freedom, nice, Jeskai Elder, Lofty Denial, okay, uh, Ominous Seas, Riddle form. Stinging lionfish. That is cool art. Fair enough. Uh, Tales End. Teferi's Time Twist. Arcane Signet. Library Larcenist. Midnight Clock. Mistral Singer. Of One Mind. Rousing Reed. Baron Telerian Archmage. Brazen Borrower. Neutralize. Nice. Capture Sphere. Chemistry's Insight. Spark Double. Historian of Zulfir. Rewind. It's rewind time. Sphinx of Foresight. Teferi is ageless, Teferi's Ageless Insight. Alright. Roaming Ghostlight. Shipwreck Dowser. Stormwing Entity. Nice. Thrix the Sudden Storm. Alright. Commence the Endgame. Sublime Epiphany. Discontinuity. Waker of Waves. And then Castle Vantress, Island, Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, if I win with this deck, if if I win with this deck, I'm gonna play the Liliana one until I w get a win, so that I can have a win with each of them. 
but this doesn't seem like the easiest deck. I knew it. I knew. I <laughs> I knew I was going to see you again. Okay, hi, Ross. All right. Good. It's good to be able to go first with a deck like this. Counterspell dot deck. All right. So Bosri's three. That means that I actually can play Lionfish and then hold up Tail's End. Hello. Enters the battlefield. Return to one target creature. Planes warp to its owner's hand. Beginning of your instep. If a permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield, this turn draw a card. All right. That's okay. Lionfish. Alright. Tap or untap target non-land permanent. So I can tap one of their creatures, basically. If they try to cast something before combat, for instance. Alright. Pegasus can't attack yet. Uh-oh. And then, uh, pass. Do it. You know you want to. I see you highlighting it. Just do it. You know what's going to happen, though. And you can't attack yet. You can't even attack yet. One weakness to this, though, is that if they don't cast it, I will have wasted my mana. I will have wasted... Yeah, I will have inefficiently used my mana. Alright. They're debating. We're not going to give them the your go. There's, is there any way that you can actually say your go without it sounding like passive aggressive? It doesn't seem like all that useful of a, an emo. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Now I don't have much of a choice kind of have to, don't I? They they played that correctly. Right. Discard Chemister's Insight. Um, Chemistry's Insight can actually do something from the graveyard, though, so that, that makes sense to discard. Spark Double. Sure. Absolutely, yeah, hang on to that. Alright. Guess I'll attack. All right, before they go to combat, I can phase it out. Phase out the pride mate. Let's see. I do wish he gave the reminder text for uh, phasing. I do like the mechanic. I'm glad to see it make a return, even if just a little bit. So now they can't attack with Pegasus. So Teferi gets to stick around. As you do. As you do. Alright. Please. Please find... Even if I don't find an island, I'll be able to spark double. Teferi. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, we'll do this first. Alright, we found an island. What do you even do? Yeah, we don't have a lot of those in the yard yet. Okay. Um. Well. So. Giant 3-3. Three, three. Even bigger 4-5. Baron. It's better to do Spark Double, right? The 
this isn't my first time being here. I believe you. I believe you, bud. Um, creature or planeswalker is tempting. I don't know that I want to give that up. Um, having a 4-5 flash flying seems good. Though I kind of already precluded the possibility of using that again. Oh. I don't... Man, I don't know. Cost one less and can't be countered. All right. Um, sorry, buddy. They all fly except for you. You get to be the one exception, so I'm going to say no attacks. Where is opt when you need it so I can tap it down? I don't actually need to phase out the pride mate here because they don't have any way to gain life preemptively, I think. I think. Alright, Acolyte, plus one, plus one, okay. Fair enough. And it does have lifelink, I believe. Yeah, it does. Okay. Even more instances of lifelink. That's a problem. I can only phase these out for so long, even with two Teferis. Those two, okay. I guess that's fair. Alright, use you first since you can't phase regardless. Commence the end game. Uh, that's a huge creature, and it is an instant. Yeah, they're just not going all in on their on their uh, commander. They're just not going to do it. So maybe I shouldn't either. Um This is this is tricky. So I'm going to lose both of them, aren't aren't I? Discard a card. Another island, maybe. Yeah, that's a lot of islands. I know, I know, I'm, I'm losing it. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great at all. Spark Double Teferi might not be enough. This does seem like the, the weakest of the decks, because while it does have a decent bit of flash, it feels as if there's... If your opponent plays optimally, you'll use your mana inefficiently and they'll use it efficiently. Alright. So that should do it. Can't block any of them. And then lifelink, life gain. Gone worse. All right. Yeah, interesting. That's the spark double one. Okay. Do this first. Get some more information. Ooh. Can do borrower. Keep that around. Once again, too many islands. All right. So we can commence the end game, draw a bunch more cards, have a huge creature. It is an instant though, so I want to do it on my opponent's turn. Actually, I want to do any of these on my opponent's turn. Except that one, flash fly. All right, doesn't have flash, I should say. Okay, so we will Pass the turn.
Okay. Okay. Each creature you control. That seems pretty good. Alright, what are they doing next? Yeah, we're not winning this. Unless we have some sort of, like, upheaval effect in the deck, we're not winning. River's Rebuke. That would be interesting. Can't be countered. We're gonna tap. I'm gonna lose to Fairy no matter what. Ta tap it? Yep, we sure are. This doesn't seem particularly strong, I'm afraid. Alright, so now what are they going to do? I don't know, let's find out. Okay. And since we're not going to be able to hang on to that anyway... When you're playing from behind, counter spells are not great, so we're going to drop Disdainful Stroke. Especially since their commander doesn't uh, care about it. Rashid doesn't care about it. Rashid of the Turbulent Wind. Alright, well... Everybody, why is the Pegasus not going after Teferi? That seems wrong. They're foregoing a point of damage. Oh dear. Yeah, story of Teferi's life, I guess. It's past catching up to him. Okay. Now what can I do? Um, hmm. So we play land, regardless. You're a 4-5. That's not a lot. It's not enough. You can play Teferi again to face something. But that doesn't seem to actually win me the game. You can play Brazen Borrower, Return... Pride Mate, or Vitality, I guess. Return Vitality. And then, now that I've done that, I can play Stormwing, Injure Scry 2. Sadly, you don't have Flash, so I have to do that all in this turn, if I'm going to do that. Okay. Um... Let's pretend we know what we're doing. If they cast their commander beforehand, I'll just rewind. But other than that, they don't even necessarily need to, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not in a great spot. I'm just hoping that somewhere in here... I, I don't remember there being upheavals like River's Rebuke. Rewind time. What? Okay. Target you. Tap you down. Hopefully it'll just automatically do the lands for me in this case. Nope, it's going to make me do it. Alright. Two, three, four. Yep, there we go. So now they can't attack with Pride Mate if they want to keep it. If they would like to keep it. Whale, um, sure, you may attack. Who all is coming in? Just those two? I mean, I can live with that. maybe, maybe going to be able to claw our way back into this. I don't think so, but I don't know. We'll see. So we're actually going to take the four from the Pegasus. Right. A 
that's fine. See, when they pass the turn, we'll use Brazen Borrower. Although the Angel is going to be a problem. So that gets rid of the counters, thankfully. And part of the reason for hitting the Healer's Hawk there is so that there'd be one less source of lifelink. Because now only you have lifelink in the deck. It's not to say they won't get there, they still will. Alright. So now, how do I do this? Now! To fairy phase out Angel, and then just try to, claw try to advantage our way back into it, I guess? Advantage as a verb. There we go. Try to build advantage to get our way back into it. Capture Sphere. Tap Enchanted Creature. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that can actually deal with you. Indefinitely. Um, we're we're trying, folks. We're doing our best. We might yet make it. You better have flash. You do. Okay. Actually, they both have flash, so we're just gonna sit here for a bit. All right, commander time. Oh, this is in the graveyard. I have to give up Stormwing Entity if I want to do that. Which I think I'm okay with. Alright. We're still probably going to use Capture Sphere. But for right now, it's fine. Tap that. Yeah, we do. Draw two. Uh, no. Alas. It resolves. Alas. Alright, let's see what they do. And I will protect you as my own. Okay. That's fine. It's indestructible. Okay. I trust in your abilities. Oh no you don't. We're tapping that down. And then this guy goes down. I'm gonna attack over here. Okay, hey, there's Opt. I can certainly live with that. Alright, Signet. With Opt, I can actually, now that I have seven mana, I can cast a fairy and attack here, and I'll still be able to tap down Angel. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh, I should have seen that coming. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Hmm. Can try to opt to save it. That's okay. I don't know that I need even more lands. I need more gas at this point. Alright, let's see what they put the counter on. I would assume they'd put it on Angel. Oh god, that's right. That's a thing I need to be worried about. Hmm, oh boy. How am I still alive, folks? 
How am I still not dead? That does not seem right. But here we are. I guess. Maybe. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Fair enough. I can live with that for now. Actually, can I? Because this thing has lifeline. So we can go opt to tap one of them and then phase the other one. Which one do we want to phase? The indestructible creature, right? As if it makes that much of a difference. Alright, yep. I'm gonna tap it down, see what we get. Counter target spell. Oh my goodness. Counter target activated ability or triggered ability. Return target non land permanent to, to its owner's hand. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Target player draws a card. Oh my goodness. Uh, it doesn't auto win the game or anything, but it's it's enough. It counts, I guess. Alright, phase you out. Alright, no attacks for you. Alright. Ominous Sea. Finally. Alright. I guess we should use this first, just in case. If we drop Glimpse of Freedom, that's fine. We have to drop Glimpse of Freedom. Sphinx is actually kind of small right now. It's a small boy. Small boy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I have plenty of creature or plenty of instant sorceries. Okay, so we'll play Ominous C. You idiot. You idiot. Should have done that first. Genius that I am. Oh my god. I'm terrible, folks. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. Ignore me. Okay. Way y'all. Whale. Alright, so stuff should be happening, hopefully. Can't phase out again. Let's see what they're doing. What they have going on. I have so many stinking cards. Why? So many cards. The one creature that Brazen Barbara can block, it can't kill. So I'm not too excited for that right now, to be honest. Alright, so they're going in the tank. Why do I still only have zero? I haven't earned any yet? Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, you know what? We can actually stop that. And we're going to. Modes. Counter target activate. Okay. So, this is... I'm sorry, which one is this first? Tar oh, I'm bouncing something. Okay, cool. I'm gonna bounce something first. Uh, well, you're at six, so we're gonna bounce you. Target a creature I control. Gonna make a copy of you. Target a player. I would like to draw a card. Target a... What's happening? Oh, okay. Man, this takes a, this takes a hot minute to resolve. And we have the Ominous Seas. <laughs> Alright, yes. Tap it. You're asking me if I want to. Yes. I yes, I want to. Alright. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Alright. Essence Scatter. Right on time. Exactly when we needed you. Now, they are going to be able to cast it for three, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll do this, just in case. Midnight Clock. The beginning of your upkeep. Oh, and you can put, if you have mana, you can just throw a bunch of hour counters on it. Interesting. Okay. Not 
give up on my goal. My sand will protect you. Good. Good for it. Okay. Yeesh. Yeesh. This I, this feels unwinnable. Okay. So plus first. Don't mess up. May not need that island after all. Discard yeah, discard an island. Fair enough, I guess. And now, I don't have quite the mana to just spam Glimpse of Freedom, but I'm pretty close. So I think the next thing is cast a Sphinx of Foresight. And then I have enough that I can cast Midnight Clock and Brazen Borrower. Okay. So Brazen Borrower will let me tap down two of their creatures. Which seems okay. Seems good. Alright. And then pass. How am I still in this game? <laughs> this is this is a little annoying. Oh, beginning of each upkeep. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's why this is in Commander Everywhere. That's right. Okay, I got it now. And I can tap for blue, because why not? When you think of clocks, you think of making mana. Their lands. Other artifacts. Okay, um... That's fine, but... Alright, we're gonna tap this non-land permanent, and we're gonna tap this non-land permanent. Yes. Sometimes I wish it just wouldn't ask, honestly. Alright. Now it may resolve. I trust in your ability. Ooh, okay. That's not good. It's no bueno. I mean, that's really not great. I guess that's another thing I'm going to have to keep tapped down. Alright. Uh, yes, you may go on to attacks. You measly creatures. Alright. I feel like we can do it. We're getting there. Alright. So, counter, and then let's see what we get. Enters the battlefield to its owner's hand. Um, I mean, I guess that that's something. Sure. Sure. Okay. So before we fire off the Teferi, we're actually going to play Glimpse first. Getting rid of one... Oh, hello. Actually, let's get rid of our lands. That's We, we definitely won't need our lands. Four, five. Right. This will give us another card with which to that, that we can use for discarding. Okay. There's another one, and let's do it again. Because I have a sneaking suspicion we won't need this discontinuity. Maybe. To fairy's time twist. Turn the card of the battlefield under to our owner's control to begin the next instep. I don't have any permanents that really need that, so we're going to discard Time Twist. Alright, now I have an 8-8. Eight -eight. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Protection from demons and dragons. Well, good for it, but... Okay. I'm sorry, what's this thing? As long as it's your turn. Okay, so we're not going to be able to, dis to use discontinuity here. Well, I could... I could, actually. Oh my goodness, I could do it on their... on their upkeep. I could just deny them a card altogether. Oh, that's... that's silly. Let's do that. Let's be a jerk. Let's do that. If this works the way I think it works. 
then yes. Alright, so we're going to go to combat. Nobody's going to do anything. Going to stop on their upkeep. And we're just going to end the turn immediately. Alright, cool. Alright, so that happens. This happens. Discard an island. Alright. Resolve. Activate it so I can make a Kraken. And then just end the turn. Straight up, just end the turn. <laughs> I'm a jerk. I am a jerk. Alright. And then you as well. Resolve them all. All of them. <laughs> you don't even get to draw. I just took an extra turn for six mana. It is just an extra turn for six mana, which is now the standard for standard. Time warps are gone. Uh, draw two cards, discard a card, enchanted creature has plus one plus one and flying. Um... Sure. We can actually do this, folks. We can somehow manage to do this. I I don't know how we got here, but this brought us to the dance. This managed to bring us to the dance. Alright, so we do this first. Put it here. Now it has flying. Yes! We got there! We got... <laughs> wow! That felt like I was clawing my way uphill the whole time. Oh my goodness. I think I conceded about half an hour ago, and then... Okay, I'll play it out. You win 0% of the games you concede, folks. And... Alright. So... I did say if we won that, we were gonna keep playing till we won with Liliana. So let's give her let's give her another shot. At least one more shot. We can do this. We can get all five wins in what will hopefully end up just being eight games. All right. So we're playing against the blue deck. Yes. All right. This could be this could be worse. All right. Yes. That is. That's fine. Uh, I almost passed on to uh, combat. There we go. Now, unfortunately, this disfigure doesn't do a whole lot for us. Hopefully, it can kill a, a lion. What's it called? A lionfish? I'm afraid I forgot its name. Sorry. Okay. Man, that feels good. <laughs> that feels so good. Alright, so all three went to the bottom. Interesting. I guess that's what you want to see if you're in my spot. So we're going to start off by going to combat and hitting them for one. Hiya. Interesting. CMC three or less. Ah, sadly. Wrong, wrong commander for that. The one time you want to see the Basri deck. Alright, so they're going to opt here. Fair enough. And I'm going to take a card from their hand, which I am more than okay with. I used one card to take a card. But I got a 1-1 out of it, so I guess it could be worse. Alright. No zombies yet for Devo Tank. Alright. And because there aren't any zombies out already, we might as well go to combat first. See if they have any flash shenanigans to do. Oh, they don't! They're, they don't have anything in their hand at all, apparently. There it goes. Well, they did, but not anything for combat. Essence Scatter. Okay, so if they hold this up, there's that's Tail's End. That is absolutely 1,000% Tail's End. That's exactly what that is, and... I'm not cool with it. If I could stick this Liliana, we're in great shape. But that's a huge if. They are stuck on two lands. I'm going to just let them go along. I 
Okay, on to my turn. This is this is not a must. Oh wait, that just resolved. Oh wait, that's right, because Tail's End is uh, legendary spells. You can exile a creature or enchantment from your graveyard. If you do, I'm sorry, what? Okay. Next. Okay. Believe it or not, I had actually forgotten in the moment that I had to discard. Oh, they were looking for lands. That's why they scried down that way. Ooh, okay. So now we're safe to go off the Lilion here. We just kill that real quick. And then Gruesome Menagerie. And then we get rid of uh, Foulmire Knight. I uh, probably shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Well, no, it's fine, because now I can get Heaven Liege back. Okay, we got there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Alright, actually, so that was only seven games, not eight. I, I, wow, okay, and we still, how do we still not get the reward, not the reward, the, uh, Chrome Replicator? Yeah, we, we still haven't attacked with enough creatures yet, have we? Oh, okay, yeah. I, I haven't played any limited at all, so that's not surprising, but I stopped playing Constructed Ranked when my internet decided it wanted to conk out every third game, so, alas, this is as far as I got. Alright, sure, we'll play. Oh man, we are decently far. You know what, let's just really, really quickly wrap that up. I can, we can do that. That'll take, that'll take a second. Just a bit, just a second. Win or lose, this shouldn't take too long. Just, this is a cavalcade deck. This is like a budget cap, even more budget than regular cavalcade deck. <laughs> so, you know, you know. We don't happen to have any uh, of the Four mana, one red, 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 two, four, that makes two additional damage from red sources. So, uh, yeah, this is fine. That's pretty fine. And then, we say hi -ya. Hit him for one. See, we're already getting there. Okay, nothing. Cool. I am cool with that. Dodger and champion will wait on cavalcade. We don't need to do that yet. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, so that's what that's what's going on. There we go. Yeah, I'm okay with coming across the cycle deck. We can, you know, even if we don't find another land, we can uh, shock whatever creature they play here. That's the one, that's the one you worry about. Oh, we did though. So we can just do all the things. This is silly. This is a stupid deck. This is a stupid deck. Alright. They're digging. They're digging. We don't have quite lethal yet. We would need a shock as well to make it lethal. Alright. So that's not the land they were looking for, I imagine. Probably looking for the one that makes a 1-1. One -one. Okay, just doing it now. Just to do it. Hey! Alright, so we actually got the attacks in. That was dumb. What was that? Turn four? Was it turn four or five? Um, let's see. Cavalcade Shock. Okay, yeah. Alright, well, <laughs> did we get there? Did, I, don't, I don't think we got quite enough attacks yet, did we? No, not quite, because we had to make up 16. Alright, we do that one more time. So that's if everything goes perfectly. That's a silly deck for standard, by the way. Yeah, that was turn four. They only got three land drops. That whole time. Oh, that was silly. That was silly. Welcome to Mono Red Blitz. Welcome to Cavalcade. Boss Cavalcade, I guess. To be fair, 
every card I just played there would have been in an optimal version of the deck. You didn't see any of the suboptimal stuff. Smaug. There's... Smaug. Smaug. Okay, now this on the other hand looks ugh, iffy. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. It's fine. It's, it's not a good keep, but it, there's no stakes for this one. It's fine. All right, pass. And then what are you getting? What would you like to get? <sighs> Smoke, <laughs> Smoke. Okay, forced. Oh, okay, grow spiral. Doing it now for reasons, I guess. All right, what's this? Oh, it's Planeswalkers. Okay. So, you've got Planeswalkers, I have Planeswalkers. Let's go. Let's have a Planeswalker battle. And I can deal up to four next turn with uh, her minus, her minus two. I have shocks, after all. Solemn Simulacrum. That's right, you're in the format. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't want to have to kill that thing. So then they draw a card. That's a, definitely a problem. Alright. So, I can go... Spitfire... Because I have Skewer Shock Skewer. So I think this is probably okay. Alright, they can't actually kill the Simulacrum, so this will do one extra damage. That's fine. Solemn Snake. <laughs> Solemn Snake. There we go. Aww. Please hit Chandra. Nope. Please hit Chandra. Okay. Okay. Well, what? Okay. No, that's that's right. That was correct of them. Actually, that was correct. Okay. So now I have to. I have to shock there. No, I don't. No, I don't. I could just swing everybody at Ugin. But yeah, we're gonna shock here. Yeah, I think we have to. Alright, they draw a card. It's not great. It's definitely not ideal. You go here, and you go here. There we go. Yeah, we're not doing well this game, unfortunately. We are not going to end up doing too well this game. They've already reached enough mana that they can start throwing Ugins out. That's never a good sign. Alright, play the planes. Yep, there we go. Okay. Yeah, they don't have Ugin mana this turn. Maybe we can survive a little longer. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Okay. And they did gain some life. That's not great either. That wall coming down next turn is going to be a problem. Alright, doing gross spiral now. I don't know what they hoped to find, but they didn't get there. Alright. So things we can do. I can actually make two tokens, and then play another Chandra and make two more tokens, but I'm a little worried about Ugin if I do that. Alright. Let's just do this. Because another Ugin would kind of ruin my day on that. We didn't have quite lethal. Next turn, if we try that, we'll have lethal. Yeah, well, no, we won't, because they have a wall now. But it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two skewers. Oh my goodness. Oh good god. So, minus three. Accept a lesser world, and you will grow lost to this Yeah, X three. Fair enough. 
I kind of want to do this. Give it haste. <laughs> Give it defend your haste. Let's go. Training is so hard. All right. We... Almost win. We don't quite win yet, but we almost do. Alright. Oh no, he can do it again. Oh no. So... Let's see. If I make two tokens... No, I need to go plus, so that Ugin has to plus to do damage to Chandra. Then she's at two. Then I make two. I think is the right way to do this. Alright, let's try it. Find your fires of, passion within. of course, they just could have another Ugin. Okay. Uh, no other artifacts yet. What are they getting out of the sideboard? Oh. Uh, Golos, you're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Whale. Hmm. Okay. I'm telling Mother Looney on you. So, Lava Coil, oh, this is not going to work. This is not going to go well. I can go, either way I'm going to make some tokens. Say hi to my fiery friends. I can go Lava Coil on you. Deal, uh, attack, who, Ugin, I guess? Oh boy. Oh, this is tricky. I, I need to deal damage so that I can turn on both of these skewers. They just let it through. That's interesting. Oh, you idiot. One of them has to go towards... You idiot. Yeah, Skewer doesn't care about hitting planes, or uh, Spectacle doesn't care about hitting planeswalkers. Yeah, that's game, actually. That's game. We can't come back from that. Oh, uh, my goodness. That was... You know, the joys of playing uh, for other people like this is that your punts are live. Everyone gets to see your punts. <laughs> Alright, so we're still saving up coins for the uh, historic bundle over here before it expires. Bundle. This one. I, I missed, I, did, I ran out of time for the other. I didn't start it soon enough, so I am not missing this. We're gonna save up and save up until we get there. All right, uh, that's it for now, I guess. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.